Welcome to CIE Math Solutions. In this video, we will explore the second visual and geometric proof of the algebraic identity a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Welcome to another video of CIE Math Solutions. In the previous video, we have explored the first way of deriving the algebraic identity a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. The playlist containing this video together with the other related videos can be found on the link above this video or on the description below. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click the bell icon for you to be notified when new videos are uploaded. If you have already subscribed, please like and share the videos in the channel. In this video, we will explore another geometric and visual way of deriving algebraic identity a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. But before we proceed, let us recall the prerequisite concept needed for the proof. We will be needing the algebraic identity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. The first term of the expanded form is equal to the square of the first term of the binomial. The last term of the expanded form is equal to the square of the last term of the binomial. And the middle term is equal to twice the product of the two terms of the binomial. If you would like to watch the visual geometric derivation of this identity, just click on the link above this video or on the description below. This identity can also be used as a guide in expanding the square of any binomial. The link for that video is on the description below. We will start the visual proof using a rectangle with sides A and B. Note that A is the longer side and B is the shorter side. Now let us make three more rectangles of the same dimensions. Let us also put a color on each of these rectangles. Let us put them aside first. Our next goal is to form a square using the sides of these rectangles. We can start with the first two rectangles, placing them side by side where one is vertical and the other is horizontal. We will follow the same manner for the other rectangles. Notice that the outer sides of the rectangles form a quadrilateral. Let us verify if this figure is a square or not. We can do this by simply labeling the, the sides of the rectangles on the outer part. This yellow rectangle has sides A and B. The red rectangle also had sides A and B. The brown rectangles has sides A and B. And lastly, the blue rectangle has sides A and B. The top part then of this figure has side length equal to the sum of A and B. That is, A plus B. The same case for the left side. The length is A plus B. For the bottom part, it's also a plus b. And on the right side, it's also a plus b. We can then verify that the figure form is a square with side a plus b. Notice also that there is a quadrilateral form on the inner part of the rectangles 
that is the unshaded part. Let us find the length of each side of this figure. Starting on the upper part of the figure, we can find the length by subtracting the side of the yellow rectangle and the side of the red rectangle. That is A and B. If we subtract these two, it is equal to the upper part of the unshaded region. That is equal to A minus B. Let us also try to find the length of the other side of this unshaded region. On the left side of this unshaded region, we can find its length by subtracting the side of the red rectangle and the side of the brown rectangle. That is A, B. Subtracting these two, the length of this unshaded region is equal to A minus B. We can do the same manner for the other sides of the unshaded region. This unshaded region then has sides A minus B. If we want to find the area of this unshaded region, that will be equivalent to A minus B squared. We can also find the area of this figure in terms of the area of the other figures. Recall that the whole square has side A plus B. That means the area is A plus B squared. Further, the area of each of the rectangles the yellow rectangle, the red, the brown, and the blue rectangle, each has an area of AB. Now looking at this figure, the area then of the inner square, which is A minus B squared, is equal to the area of the whole square, that is A plus B squared, minus the areas of the four rectangles, that is 4AB. Take note that a plus b squared is an algebraic identity that is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, then minus 4ab. We can simplify this further by combining like terms. There are two like terms here. We have 2ab and negative 4ab. We can then get a squared and then 2ab minus 4ab is equal to minus 2ab plus b squared. Therefore, a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. We have just shown the visual and geometric proof of the algebraic identity a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Question for today is, is there any other way of proving or deriving the algebraic identity a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared? If you have answers to this question, you may write them down on the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on math proofs and derivations, math tutorial videos, solve items from international exams, math tricks and puzzles, math resources and more, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much for your continued support.